your background layer make sure you merge everything to your visible layer make sure you merge everything as a visible layer i showed you before how to do that hello everyone my name is tunde victor and welcome back to my youtube channel follow me on instagram at tunde victor 7 in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create and apply color lookup table if you don't know what color lookup table means i'm going to explain color lookup table for you guys right now color lookup table simply means a color grading preset so let's say you are editing an image and you like the color grading let's take this image right here for example i already color graded this image and i like the color grading on this image and i want to save this color grade so that i can apply it to other images in the future so to do that i have to create a color lookup table and i'm going to be showing you how to do that right now so the first thing you do if you are already working and you try to create and save color lookup table it's not going to work and i'm going to show you why i'm going to tell you the reason so let's say i want to let me just do a quick color grading for this image let me just let me just do a quick a quick color grading so you can see okay let me just leave it like this first okay let's say i want to save this um color grade i just did you will see it's not going to work and i'm going to show you why so to save it i'll come to my fair i'll come to my exports i'll come to my color lookup table and um make sure here is on cube I can change the uh, copyright if I want to. I'll just explain this part later, but I'll just click OK. I just want to save it right now. So I'll save it on my desktop. So I've created that color lookup table right now. And if I try to um, apply that color lookup table, it's not going to work. And you're going to see the reason. So if I come to my color lookup table, I click on load. And uh, this is the one I just created right now. And I click on load you can see what's doing to the image it's just distorts the image and the image is not looking good anymore let me delete this first okay and that is because we have other layers right here you can see this you can see these layers right here those layers right here that's the reason why that color lookup table did not work if you are trying to um save your color lookup table this way and you're having these same issues i'm going to show you how to fix that I'll just copy this group that I have my color grading right here because I don't want to start color grading this image from the beginning again because this is not a color grading tutorial. This is how to create um, skill tool lot. So I'm just going to copy it. So once I copy it, I'll paste it on top of this image right here, like this. So I just want to save it here first. So now, let's say you are editing an image and you want to save the color grade as a lot. What you should do? after let me just delete this so what you should do after retouching your image doing your dodge and burn applying your contrast doing your white at it as i did it's whitening action so after all your skin retouching and all that what you should do you should merge everything in the visible layer and this is how you do that you come to your layer you scroll all the way down to your merge visible this is your merge visible right here so once you merge so once you click on merge visible everything you just did is going to merge to the background everything you just did is going to merge to the background as you can see we have just the background so right now any color grading adjustment you make and you save it as a lot is going to save as a lot so let me just do the first thing i did before i come to my um hue and saturation i just increase the saturation like this and now if i save this as a skin tool lot it's going to save because i just have only my background right now as you can see so i'll come to my file again i'll click on export i'll click on color lookup table and once i'm on color lookup table i'll just click on ok and um come to my desktop again and just rename this one try and save so once that is saved and i come to my color lookup and I'll just click on load 3D lot and this is the trial we just did so once I click on load you can see it's apply so this is what we did before and this is the color lookup table this so you can see it works because we have just the background right now now that I've gotten that out of the way I'll just come back to my color grade right here and just copy it so after i copy it i'll just paste it on top of this one right here and you can see our color grading so 
I'm not going to be colored this image because I already colored this image and this is these are the adjustments I used to color this image. And also at the end of this video, I'll be giving out this color grading lot for free. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. So if you like this video so far and you really learned anything from this video, hit on that like button and let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video. And if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button. The first thing I'm going to do if you want to save your skin color grading or you want to save your color grading in general, make sure you are your background layer. Make sure you merge everything to your visible layer. Make sure you merge everything as a visible layer. I showed you before how to do that and then after making your color grading adjustments you come to your fair you come to your export you come to your color lookup table and uh, use lower uh, make sure this one is not checked and make sure your uh, grid point is on medium which is 32 on the, is the default is 32 so just leave it on default and make sure this place is unchecked and make sure you are on cube your cube is checked and uh, you can add a copyright if you want like me i just i added a copyright which is still in visual you can put any name you want here and also you can rename your lot here or you can just click ok and come here and look for a look for where you want to save your lot so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be saving my lot on my desktop again so i'll just rename this lot silence and i'll click ok and it's going to save now once that is saved i'm just going to group everything i just did my color grading and group them so we can compare the before and after so i'll turn this one off now this is how you apply color grading lot you come to your color lookup table right here on your adjustment or you come down here to your adjustment and click on color lookup so once you click on color lookup this uh, properties tab here is going to come up and then uh, just click on load 3d lots click on load 3d lots and look for a place which you save your lot on your pc or your desktop and this is the lot i just created right now this is tillens.cube and just click on load so once i click on load as you can see right here it has load so this is the before and this is the after for our color lookup table which is the color grading we just did right here and let me turn off my color lookup table when i turn on my color grading so this is the before and this is the after and you can see they are both the same thing so this is how you save and how you can apply color lookup table and let's say i want to apply it to this image right here so let me just delete this one so let's say i want to apply that lot i just created to this image right here all i have to do is come to my color lookup here or i come to my adjustment right here click on color lookup and click on load 3d lot and just look for a place which my lot is saved and this is the lot i just created and i'll be giving out this lot for free so i'll just click on load lot and you can see this is how it is right now this is our before and this is our after so if you feel it's too much you can always reduce the opacity like this or you can add more to it by duplicating the skin to lot like this so guys Thank you so much for watching this video and really if you learn anything from this video leave a like if you are new here hit on that subscribe button so you can get more amazing video like this in the future stay creative i'll see you guys in my next video